All right, friends, welcome back to another Angular video. Today we're going to kind of get away from the tour of heroes. So if you're wanting to learn Angular, just a, I guess, a quick little note. If you're wanting to learn Angular, I did go through the whole tour of heroes tutorial from start to at the very finish. We created our own API and called that API in different ways and also posted information. I have a playlist of that on my channel if you wanna go check that out. Today we're going to talk about the mouse over and mouse out events in Angular. And this is something that came to my mind after doing something kind of similar in WPF. I'm like, well, can you do that in Angular? So that's what we're exploring today, how to do that. If this stuff sounds interesting to you and other programming, you know, tutorials, how to's, that kind of stuff, as I find out these things, I like to share them with you. Of course, I'm always trying to learn and hopefully you are too. And that's how this channel is pretty much structured. I'm not any programming genius by any means. I'm constantly trying to learn. And uh, if that sounds interesting to you, feel free to hit subscribe. And here is my Angular, I guess, project that I started new. I just added Bootstrap to this. And if you want a video on how to quickly just add Bootstrap to Angular, um, let me know. We can briefly talk over. That's going to be a short video if we do that, but this is it. What I wanted to do is I have this button, but we're not going to do any click events. We've done that in the tour of heroes where we can make a click event on something and it, it does something with the button, right? But in this one, we're going to do basically the hover event. So my mouse is over something. Maybe I want this image to display. And then when it leaves this button, when it's no longer hovering over it, we want this image to disappear. And that's what this is going uh, to be. We're going to hover over it, show the image, and then take off and not show the image. So that's kind of the example I wanted to show in this video to show those two events. And you know, here's the basic HTML of the app component. And then we can look at the TypeScript here in a second. But I just have a title, I have an H2, I have the button, I did a break because I wanted the image to be below it, and then I just have this image that I just found on Google Images, and I pasted the URL of that image into the source, and uh, I gave it a class from Bootstrap. But that's basically it. And what we're going to do is in the button, we're going to add those two events. So we're going to do the mouse over, and we're going to say, you know, when mouse is over, do this, whether it's a function. So if we wanted to, we can write a function in TypeScript and say, here's the function name. Um, of course, it's probably not going to be function name, but run this function if we want to do that. But I'm going to do something a little bit different. And you'll see that in a second. But I thought we would just have the mouse over. And while we're at it, let's just do, and then in parentheses, the mouse out. So now we have these two events that we're going to define what's going to happen when the mouse is over and then when the mouse is out, meaning the mouse is no longer hovering over that, that object. So what I want to do, let's go look at the TypeScript. I want to add another variable here and say show, uh, wow, here we go with the typing again, image. I'm on my laptop today, so hopefully everything looks okay. Um, and that's going to be a type boolean. And then in the constructor of this app component class, I'm just going to say this dot show image is going to be equal to false right off the bat. So at the very beginning, uh, show image is going to be false, meaning we're not going to show this image. So I save that. Um, it recompiled down here, but there's an error saying we didn't do anything with this event, this mouse over event. It's not doing anything. Well, now we can do show image is going to be set to true. So when the mouse is over, we can set it to true, that variable. And then we could say show image is going to be equal to false when the mouse leaves the button. And then lastly, what we can do is in the image tag, we can say ng if show, I got to do these in quotes, show image, meaning if this is true, this property in the TypeScript, uh, if that's true, then we will display this image. If it's false, that image will not be displayed. So let's go ahead and we'll save all that. We'll make sure everything now compiles successfully, which it did. And we can uh, just test it out. So it refreshed. And here we go. If we hover over it, you can see the image pops up of this cute little 
chubby pug, and then if we leave it, the pug disappears. Now I said you could do a function, so maybe we can do something like show, uh, I don't know, pick, we can say this is going to be the new um, function, we'll go ahead and create this, we could say show pick and then we'll pass in true, and then this we're going to say show pick and then we're going to pass in false. But of course this this function or method doesn't even exist yet. So let's go ahead and add that to this class. And we could say show pick and then we're going to pass in a um, show, I guess I'll call this, which is going to be of type boolean. And then the logic of this is just going to be show or this dot show image is going to be equal to show this property or this value that was passed in. So now we'll save that, make sure it compiles, and this should theoretically do the same exact thing. And here you can see it does do the same exact thing. It's just one extra step because it has to now go through this show pick method versus just setting it in the event itself. Whenever this mouse is hovered over, we can just set that from here, um, but now we're just passing it through a method and the method is setting it. So there's two different ways you can do this. I just wanted to showcase both. Uh, I do prefer the first way just because I guess it's more straightforward. You're not, you know, kind of looping around. It's less convoluted. So, but this is the mouse over and mouse out events in Angular. I'm going to try to do some more Angular how-to videos in the future. So stay tuned for those and uh, hopefully you enjoyed this. Take care.